Hey guys, I'm Ashley Harrington for Red Carpet Report. Tonight we're at the Arc Like Cinemas for the premiere of Obvious Child starring Jenny Slate and some of the funniest people in Hollywood. Hi, how are you? Good. I like your outfit. Thank you. Thanks. I am a big fan of the pink right now. I'm, I'm like bubble gum. It's perfect for summer. Thank you. So this movie is about basically like the worst Valentine's Day. Have you ever had one and what is it? I feel like most Valentine's Days are pretty awful because I think like the expectation is that it's supposed to be, you know, what you see and then the reality is like it's kind of dumb. Like even if a guy does it all right and does the chocolate and the flowers, you're like, awesome. Like my nose is itchy and I have a stomach ache. So thank you. So like that's so corny. Everyone else did that. Yeah. And like why would you give me a stuffed bear? I'm an adult. It's a dumb holiday. Yeah, it's dumb. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Well, do you ever drunk dial? Um, yeah, I do. I'm a big drunk texter. I tend to send angry texts when I am drunk. But that's the worst because the next day you see it. You can't take it back, and you can also get inflection. Like just because everything is all capitals doesn't really get it. It doesn't get the point across. And usually towards the end, it's just like running off. You have no idea what you're trying to say. And there's all kinds of like typos and like your spell check is taking control and is like trying to save the situation. It's there's not. absolutely nothing you can do because there it is forever. Yeah, it's done. Just like yeah. this interview. I can't take it back. I can't take this back. I'm sorry. So what else do you have going on? Uh, we are getting ready to start shooting season six of The League, which is crazy and exciting. God knows what's going to happen. I don't. Since you have to, like, are always around it, do you ever play fantasy football? Yeah, yeah we actually have a league with the cast and the creators. And um, the natural progression of this interview would you be like, oh, who won the first season? You were? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Who won the first season? Oh my gosh, it's so funny that you should ask that because I did. Really? I won the first season. And then I've never done well again after that. No, I've done horrible. But did you pick on like stuff that you knew or were like, oh, I like their colors or their cute butts? Stuff like that? <laughs> Give me some credit. I picked on, how did you do? Uh, Not well. I, I picked, um, I, that year I did research. Last year I picked um, purely based on emotion and I like picked Brady and it was a horrible choice. I know. He's so cute. I know. So last year I did, but it was I, I was like last place. I might have gotten the sacco. So this year you're going to research? I don't know. I've won once already, so I'm like, I'm good. All the guys like really are fighting for it because like it's, their manhood is on the line, you know? So It's very embarrassing if you win. Give them a shot, right? And it's a lot of work. It's so much work to keep up with it. You guys win anything. Uh, well, that's a funny thing. When they started it out, they were like, thousand bucks a head. And I was like, a thousand dollars a head? That's crazy. Thinking to myself, I've never played fantasy football before. Never, ever will I ever do that. And then I won. And I was like, guys, remember? A thousand bucks a head? And they were like, no. Um, so I have a very large, obnoxious trophy. It's called the Azelton Cup. But it, it now gets passed along to all the winners, so I don't have it anymore because I've never won again. So I don't even have to worry about how big and obnoxious it is. But you basically, it's just your word to say you won. Yeah, exactly. I have I have the, the bragging rights that I happen to do on every red carpet. It's so pathetic. You were like, claim to fame. I won. I won. I won. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Have fun tonight and good luck in the fantasy Thank football. You. you too. Yeah, maybe. Do a little research. It's worth it. But in research. Just so well, you don't say I picked you based on the cute pants. That's right. Okay. Okay. Thanks. All right. Bye. Well, that's it for tonight. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment letting me know what your worst date was.